You know what, guys? It's a new year. So, you know, it should be a new me. You, you <laughs> Don't you fucking hate people who say that? Oh my god. No, for real though. Um, I, I did change up the team a little bit. New year. <laughs> I kind of went new team. Um, I, it's, it's about time. It's a new year. And I'm dropping bitches that aren't living up to par and performing. So, Anthony Davis, I'm sorry you were the weak link. And I dropped him and I picked up Bob McAdoo, who is one of the rarest of the new gold legends I think on Xbox at least and um, he does exactly what Davis does athletic block shots defensive anchor mid-range finishes down low grabs boards so um, I, I, I couldn't help but get him and try him out and honestly I think this I, I did mention this in a prior video that Paul fucking George is just too good in this game I don't know why him have the syndrome that Derrick Rose did have last year like how Derrick Rose had the sapphire card and he didn't even fucking play a game all year and Marcin Gortad is get rid of the get rid of the mohawk or something because you're a fucking bum you missed next to the basket I could make that and I'm like five foot five bro Clay Thompson is another one. He hasn't really been performing as well as I didn't want him to. I thought Eman Lillard was going to be the, the real Splash Bros. But he hasn't been really performing. And get that shit. Woo! Get that shit. Old tough here. Go ahead, Durant. Do your fucking. This broke foot bitch. This broke foot Jones fracture bitch can't jump anymore. His career is over. That's it. You saw how I just missed that dunk? Like, I, I, I literally. I, fine and I'm turning the ball over I'm noticing actually also guys and he's just going to stop pop and pull up on me with Kyle Corva Corva however your same name um that actually the zone the one three one zone is gone but there's actually a still very effective way to play the zone here's a quick tip guys when you pick the ball up um you should just go into the post moves if you have someone that can post fade when you pick the ball up and you don't want chance passing it for a turnover because you know them waiting for the pass all up in him jersey Good shit. Alright, that's how we like to start games. This is post patch by the way, so these threes shouldn't be falling, but they are. Good shit 2K. Um yeah, when you when um you're in a post situation not a post situation, when you pick the ball up and you don't want to pass it and chance that you steal it, just go into the post and fade away. The post fade is pretty overpowered in this game, not gonna lie, so it's a good bailout. Quick tip for you. So I'm locking him up on ball with JR Smith of all people, and he is just up fucking chucking. And he's getting rebounds, that's the most annoying part. Him don't deserve the rebounds because I'm not taking good shots, but I'm getting them anyway. Force it inside, force it back outside, all up in his face! Not sure if Paul George or Ray fucking Allen Shuttlesworth. I mean, what even is this? And you know, it's only players like Paul George that do it to me. Like, I don't get scorched by Durant's. I don't get scorched by Kobe's. Paul George is just fucking Jesus. And he's been holding the turbo button all game. And he barely misses lifts. That's one of the first ones that can actually miss. And don't tell me. Don't don't tell me how bad that shot was. Thank you, Plum Dog. He should be starting over Gortat at this point. But he's one of the best energy players I have off the bench. So I like keeping him there. I don't know why something just told me to pull up with JR that time. It was like the voice that JR actually has in him head in real life. That just says, shoot JR, shoot. Don't worry what the coach says, just shoot, go ahead. And I listened to it, so I felt like JR for a quick minute. Anyway, I'm doing my best that I can to play good defense on I him. Mean, didn't want to take that pull up jump shot. Um, he kicks it right back out, and I'm just going to jump because I know I'm going to shoot every single time. Bob McAdoo running the floor, and I love it, but Lillard catches it. I think they need to add a way to add specific people to lob to. Because especially in team up when I want to lob it to one of my certain boys, I just lob it up to somebody and them just catch it that they had no business going for it at all. So I think them should add a way to call for the person who you want to lob it to, like RB and click that person that you want to lob it to. It would make a lot it would make things a lot smoother. But um the ball isn't leaving Paul George or Kevin Durant's hands. And every time down him just doing this left to right crossover that creates space and is not bouncing off of me and I make a beautiful full time decision. If I did Euro it would have been a charge, if I spin it would have been a charge, but no I miss and Paul George is obviously there. So fuck me. Half time in and I'm only up by five. Look at the double cross again. Pulls up. Didn't even want to do that and I'm still make it, which is complete bullshit. The game is way closer than it should be at this point. I'm step back and be who the fuck do you think you are? Thankfully I grab him boards. That's the one thing Gortat does very well. Fuck you, stop, pop, and boom goes the perfect release. Now I don't know why, but at least once every fucking game nowadays, I get completely massacred on ball. Watch this shit. Whoop, whoop. Where am I? Oh my Jesus. Where the fuck did I go? 
it's happening and I, I, at least once a game now. And a couple of you are, are laughing at me in the comments. Stop it, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I play great on ball, but just sometimes I get fucked up. It happens to the best of us. Clay Wild. And boom goes the dynamite. Thank you, Clay. I, I, I think I'm going to replace him at this point because for 9,000 MT, he's worth too much to not be destroying for me like Paul George is destroying for him. Um, this is why I say I can't I, I do, I pin my shit. Okay, Jody Meeks. I haven't even heard Jody Meeks' name since the Lakers. I don't even know what he's doing on the Pistons if he's still there. And they make another mid-range pull up with Paul George. Paul George should have to be in favorite player or something. It's like him knowing form. These had to be all perfect releases. There is no way that he could be doing that or he could be getting bullshitted like I just did and got a C- minus to win Lillard because I didn't want to just drive. Ball still in Paul George's hands. Runs right to the corner. I'm still kind of the up by one off of complete bullshit. What even is that? Fuck you, I'm driving and getting a free dunk. What is going on? I should be up. I should be winning. Is is an impulse and surprisingly it didn't fucking go in. But is the shots that he's making and the shots that I'm missing. I'm missing good shots. Thank you, little And boom goes the dynamite. For giving me some room to breathe. But I've been missing a lot of good shots and he's been making bullshit like that. Paul George didn't even get an arrest all game. He's been holding RT. When my guy's even out of breath for one second, they will miss a two-foot jumper, a two-foot hook shot. Like, come on. Stop, pop. And boom goes the dynamite. I need perfect releases in this bitch to score? Is that how it's going to go 2K? Fine. So let me just take him to the Baja, to the rack with Bledsoe. One of my most reliable players off the bench. Honestly, sometimes this bench squad plays way more... Just way better than the starters. It's just a lot more oh, plum dog continuity. Plum dog, you need to go pick him up. It just like he's one of the best silvers in the game, as I said. So I can't, I can't believe he's not more popular. Paul George in the corner again. Not even surprised. I can't even get upset. And you know, I thought this game was really over at this point because I went on a nice little run. I was up by nine. Find the run for the good shot off. Rebound Bob McAdoo like he grabs boards. Gets hammered with no fall. He grabs the board, I know I'm going to push it, he's pushing, 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 easy layup with Durant and steps by Plum Dog as you saw. I tried to strip him, I tried to at least bump him, I said fuck it, I need a timeout, it's a 4 point game, anything can happen with somebody like this. Get the main boy Lillard back into the game. Thank you, big game dame. I think that was the dunk. That did let this bitch know that this was my swamp and he was not going to do anything. Stop with JR. Go ahead, Jay. And boom goes the dynamite. The, the shit just picked up. Earl Joseph Smith the third. Honestly, next to Plum Dog is probably my second best role player off of the bench and then his blitz saw. Because he hits threes, then the shit like that to just put people to sleep. And then one more just for the And boom goes the dynamite. Just for the fuck you for making me upset by using Paul George, like, and, and he's still going to give him the ball, he's still going, nice. And then he's a sore loser about it, these are the people I don't get, like, you knew how you played all game, you know you didn't even deserve to be in the game, and then he starts, you know, getting 8 second violations and that shit, so, and then gets a, you just charge cheese me, you want to humiliate Dame, don't invoke the wrath. Of the Lillard. And, and, and boom goes the dynamite. Don't invoke the wrath. And now watch him still sitting at the half court mark, taking stupid shots just to prolong the game, just because he couldn't accept the loss. You know what? Stop, pop, fuck you, all your hopes and dreams. With no regard for human life. I honestly hope he sold this game afterwards. I hope that shot made him. All right, Jimmer. I still win, so that shot, I'm going to pretend like it didn't count. Um, it, it's very fitting that it went in at the buzzer. It's like him saying, next time we meet, bitch. So, <laughs> this was actually my first game that I played uh, post-patch on Xbox One. Um, and I think it was probably one of the more annoying ones. I think it's probably just because it's Paul George, but whatever. Still very balanced game. Bob McAdoo actually didn't score whatsoever, but I think I grabbed like 14 rebounds with him and I played excellent defense, so... You know, it was a great start for him. And I'm um, sorry I didn't upload in the last three days, guys. Um, actually, I think that's the longest I haven't uploaded in my vacation so far. But December 30th, the 30th was my birthday. Yes, actually, I do. I do ironically share a birthday with LeBron James. As much as I used to hate on him in all my previous videos. But yes, 
<coughs> Third first was obviously New Year's Eve, and then yesterday I was actually really hungover and I didn't feel like doing shit, so that was that. So no time to get back on the upload grind. I know you guys have been enjoying the, the um, frequent uploads. So I try to get as much in as possible because school starts for me, classes start for me again next week. But the semester doesn't really pick up until about a month in, so I should still have some free time. Yeah, a couple more games and then the no restrictions seat is here.